Now let's consider this question. That is WASI 2021, question number 10. And then the A is on bearing. Bearing is a very, very easy topic in general or core mathematics. I don't know why students say that bearing is very, very challenging. It is very, very easy. Let's consider it. Now, it says that a cyclist sets out from a town P. So the key word is from. That is our starting point. From a town P, we are starting from P, on a bearing of 60 degrees to a town Q, five kilometers away. He then moves on the bearing of 345 degrees to a town R, six kilometers from Q. I say we should, we should represent the information on a Venn diagram. So it sets out from a town P on a bearing of 60 degrees. So town P on a bearing of 60 degrees. Let's start over here. So on a bearing of 60 degrees. You know, this is our north, south, west, and then our east. Our east. And 60 degrees. So 60 degrees, that's the first quadrant. So this is not to scale, but this is 90. So 60 degrees, let's suppose this is 60 degree so the angle from here to here that's 60 um, degrees and it is five kilometers so five kilometers and this is our um, Q and P that is where he started from a cyclist set out from a town P so starting from the town P on a bearing of 60 degrees to a town Q, five kilometers away. He then moves on the bearing of 345 degrees. Now, this 345 degrees, where do you think it will be? First quadrant, this is 90. Second quadrant here, that is 180. This is 270. So 345, that is 30 plus the 270, that's 300. 45 plus 300, that is 75. So we need an angle of 75 in the fourth quadrant so clearly 75 degrees 75 there's not a scale so this is 75 degrees now we have to note that um this is not a scale but then pq is five kilometers and then the qr is six kilometers so clearly the qr is longer than the so this is r the qr is longer than the pq is not scale and you cannot join P, that is R to P, and this is a straight line. This is six, six kilometers, six kilometers. Now, the angle from here, this is Q. The angle from here all the way to this side is 345 um, degrees. Now, this angle here, you know, this line and this line are parallel lines. If they 60, the whole angle is 90. Clearly, the angle here becomes 30 degrees. What is the angle here as well? The angle here too is 30 degrees. Why? This line is parallel to that line. Um, PQ is a transversal. Clearly, the angle here alternates to the angle over there. Now the angle all the way from here to here is 345 degrees. This is 270 degrees. So what is the angle here? 345 minus 270 and clearly this is 75 degrees. So the angle from here all the way to this side will be 75 plus 30 degrees. And this is 105 um, degrees. Now, the, so I say we should sketch. So that is a sketch that we have done that is very very easy we should represent it, uh, the information on the diagram and that is what we have so you get marks for this now the second thing is you calculate correct to two decimal places distance pr so we want to find the distance pr now if it is a right angle triangle we can either use the um, pythagoras theorem to find the pr or we can use the trick ratios. Now, in this case, the angle here is not 90 degrees. There's not right angle triangle. Hence, we have to use either the cosine rule or the sine 
rule. Now we know of um, one angle which is 105 degrees, we know this side 5 kilometers, this side 6 kilometers, so we can use the cosine rule. Now let's consider how the cosine rule looks. So you see, if we have the cosine rule, that is we have a triangle which is no right angle, triangle, let's suppose that this side, this side is A, and this is small a, uh, this is b, this is small b, this is c, and this is small c. Now let's suppose the angle here is theta, let's suppose the angle here is alpha, let's suppose the angle here is um, beta. Let's suppose we are looking for, um, and we are looking for this, this side bc, which is a. Clearly the angle is facing this side, so we say a square is equal to a square is equal to that is b square plus c square minus 2 bc cos the angle what is the angle the angle is theta or if we want to use the angle here then this c what, where is it facing the c here so you say c square is equal to um, a square plus b square minus 2 a b Cos, what is the angle? The angle is beta. Or what about if we want to use the angle over here? Where is it facing? It's facing this side. So we see that b square is equal to a square plus c square minus 2ac cos the angle. What is the angle? The angle is alpha. So this is the cosine rule. This is the cosine rule. This is a cosine rule. And then also if you want to use the sine rule, with the sine rule, with the sine rule, we say that sine, the angle here, alpha over the beneath one, what is there? B, and this is the same as sine beta, sine beta all over the AB, but this AB is C, and it's the same as sine theta all over A, all over A. And this is the sine rule. So here we want to use the cosine rule to find the length PR. So using the cosine rule, we want to find PR. So using the cosine rule, using the cosine rule so where the angle is facing so you see pr square then pr square is equal to that is 5 square plus um, 6 square so we say 5 square plus 6 square minus 2 times 5 times 6 cause the angle what is the angle the angle is 105 degrees. So that is 105 um, degrees. And we have PR squared. This is 25 squared. That is 25. 5 squared plus 25. It says squared. That is 36 minus 2 times 5. That's then 10 times 6. We have 60 cos 105 degrees. Now 25 plus 36, that is 61 minus 60 cos 105 degrees. Note that, you see, 60 is multiplied cos 105. So you can't say that 61 minus, no, 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 we can't do that. So the square, we have to find, the square becomes square root, so PR is equal to square root of 61 minus 60 cos 105 um, degrees and this we can punch this on a calculator and when we punch this on a calculator we are getting that is 8.74809 now the question says that it should be to two decimal places that's a condition given to us to two decimal places so this is the first decimal place, this is the second decimal place, but this is 8, if we change this, so 2 decimal place, that will be 
8.75 and that is kilometers to two decimal places two decimal places so 8.75 now let's see so this is our i i that's alpha now let's see the second one this beta says you find the bearing of r from p the bearing of r from p so from p from p now we know bearings is measured from the north so we just want the angle over here how can you get the angle over there now it's in the first quadrant so if we know the angle here and this side we subtract from 90 and then that will be this now we know the side to be 930 degrees do you know the angle here no we don't know the angle here let's suppose the angle here is alpha so the bearing will be 90 minus alpha plus 30 degrees so how can you find alpha over here how can you find it so our uh, beta how can you find the alpha over there now from here we can't use the sine rule we can use the sine rule to get the um, angle over there so that is sine alpha sine alpha over um, 6 or 6 equal to sine 105 over the PR sine 105 over the length PR and we want to find alpha so clearly we have sine alpha is equal to 6 sine um, 105 degrees over PR now we work for PR don't use the approximated value but then use the first one so this is 6 sine 105 degrees our PR is 8.74809 so that is um, sine alpha I want to find alpha so let's find the sine inverse so this is just equal to sine inverse of 6 sine 105 degrees over 8.74809 and this is just calculator work and when we punch this on the calculator this is giving us that's 41.49033 so that is the angle over there that's the angle um, alpha that's angle alpha so that's the alpha over here we want to find the angle over here so the bearing of r from p would be 90 minus that is this plus that so clearly the bearing the bearing the bearing of um, p the bearing of r from p r from p this is equal to it's in the first one so 90 degrees minus that is um 30 degrees plus 41.49033 and when you punch this on a calculator this is giving us that's 18.50966 now the question says that it should be to two decimal places so this is a fair decimal this that is 18.5 become the fair decimal place but two decimal places so zero but then what is following is nine more than five five and above so to change this to that'll be five one two decimal places two decimal places or this if it is not two decimal places we know that the right three digits so it's going to be zero point zero one nine that is if it is not saying that we should do it to two decimal places then three digits so zero one eight but then here 0.55 is that is five and above so it will add one to the 18 and then it's going to be zero one nine degrees but then the question says it should be to two decimal places so that is 18.51 degrees that's very very easy for a complete lesson on what c 
call mathematics please call the numbers on the screen right now everything has been explained you can play back the video for better understanding a lot of questions have been explained and it's very very good for revision you're going to write exams you've forgotten the principles get my video tutorials it is very very affordable call the numbers right now now let's see the b part was it 2021 20, question number 10 b now the b is on statistics it says that the following are arranged in order of size so it has been arranged already in order of size and what are the element that is the first we have x minus two uh, four x plus two we have two x plus one and then we have nine it has been arranged in order of size now we are being given that if the median is equal to the mean now how do we find the median this it has been arranged in order of size how many different um, data is there one two three four five five so that is odd and odd for us to find the median it is n plus one over um, two now what is n n is five so five plus one over to five plus one is six six over two that's the third so that would be the third element so from the right hand that is one two three so this becomes the median then from here one two three so this is the uh, median we have been given that median is equal to the mean now the median what's the median that is x plus two and the mean how do we find the mean we have to add everything and we divide by the um, number of elements so here we have x minus 2 plus 4 plus x plus 2 plus 2 x plus 1 plus 9 all over the quantity how many 1 2 3 4 5 5 now what do you have x plus 2 this is equal to x plus x that is um, 2 x plus 2 x plus 4 x now negative 2 plus 4 that's 2 2 plus 2 that's 4 2 plus 1 um, 5 plus 9 that's 14 plus 14 all over 5 we can consider this as over 1 so what do we do we cross multiply so we have 5x plus 2 equal to 4x plus 14 we want to find x we expand this using the distributive property we have 5x plus 10 equal to 4x plus 14 so 5x minus 4x equal to 14 minus 10 x is equal to 4 that is 14 minus 10 and we have our x to be equal to 4 that is very very easy call the numbers on the screen right now for a copy of the amazing product you are seeing on the screen now the pen drive is otg that is double sided you can use it on your phone as well as use it on any usb device as well it is very very affordable it contains complete lessons on further mathematics and then general or core mathematics as well call the numbers right now for a copy of this wonderful product it is very very affordable